This is a class 11th chapter 12 introduction to three dimensional geometry. You may recall that we have already studied about any point representation with respect to two axes which we call as x and y and we call them as Cartesian coordinate. But if you throw a ball, say you throw a ball, then it moves in three directions x, y and z or rather take more simpler example the way you see if you are here somewhere means if you are in a room then you see that if this is a room then you have this wall this wall you have a say roof and a floor so actually you are in a 3d space you ought to have a 3d geometry your eyes are made such like you you are able to see the height perception you can perceive the height because of two eyes. So we will be talking about the three dimensions today, three dimensions and we call it as a 3D geometry and this is just an example that apart from these three dimensions say x, say this is x, this is y and this is your z then previously it was just 1, 2 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 quadrants but here we'll have octants, 8. See this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. So 8 octants are there with respect to and since if you are able to perceive the plane also, then there are one is your xy plane, one is your zx plane, one is your xz plane. So if these planes are, if you assume they are being placed, then they give you 8 rooms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and the, these 8 rooms are nothing but the octants. So we will be talking about octants here. If you were aware that one point can be easily found out using say, uh, say if it, it is 2 and 3, so x direction you move 2 and y direction you move 3, so you have 2 and 3 with x and y axis. But if the case is three dimension means you have x y and z so you have x y z coordinate the so move x, x distance in x direction then y in one direction and then z in z direction x this is x axis y and z so these three movements give you x comma y comma z so this point is x y z which is which has a peculiar or uh, you can say a specific coordinate in your 3D space, right? This we already seen. So now one more thing you have seen eight rooms because of those coordinate axes. These are the these are the signs you can say sign. So for each octant you have different signs. We'll take we'll take this. Uh, say you have first I'll take this example. Three one two, but the sign is minus plus and plus. So in which octant this is going to lie? Just check out for minus plus plus. Minus plus plus is this. So this will be in second quadrant. Or set an odd octant to be very specific. This is minus plus minus. In which octant it is going to lie? Minus plus minus. Let us see. Minus plus minus. So this will be sixth. Okay. How about the origin of uh, the x, y, z? The origin will be 0, 0, 0. At any point say if you are talking about uh, uh, any point on the x-axis that will be x comma 0 comma 0 any point on yz plane that will be 0 comma y comma z right so if 2 4 5 this is the point find the coordinate of f coordinate of f let us move to the 12.3 diagram so this is f so this is in xz plane so y will be 0 here just place y0 here this makes it 0 this is the answer distance between two points distance is also easy here because the distance between two points were what was what x1 y1 x2 y2 x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square under root here we have x2 minus if we have say z also introduced z so x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. This will be the distance. How? 
let us take uh, these points P and Q and you have to find out the distance between P and Q and these are coordinates x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2. So we'll take uh, the triangles like this. Okay, first this triangle, then this triangle. These two triangles we are going to take. And we will apply the Pythagoras theorem. So just concentrate on this and see PQ square is equal to PA square plus AQ square. Again, AQ square is equal to AN square plus NQ square. This is AQ square is equal to a, AN square plus QN square. So now, taking these two, we can write PQ square is equal to PA square plus AN square plus NQ square, right? Because what we have done, AQ square, in this AQ, we have placed this. Now, any point, say, any point, say, this is, say, Y2, this is Y1. So, what will be the distance? Y1 minus Y2. Same case. This PA will be X2 minus X, Y2 minus Y1, AN will be X2 minus X1, NQ will be Z2 minus Z1. You can confirm it using this uh, diagram. Now, just place this value and you will see that PQ square will actually be, or PQ will be, x2 minus x1 whole square, y2 minus y1 whole square, z2 minus z1 whole square. These two are the points and these are the distance. If one point is the origin for this x, y, z, one is the origin, then it will be under root x2 square plus y2 square plus z2 square. Let us take the example. We have to find the distance between these two points. So how to find the distance? This minus this whole square, this minus this whole square, this minus this whole square. Just place it here, 3 root 5. How to check? Collinearity. So example 4 is about that only. You have to show that these three points P, Q and R, they are collinear. That means they lie on the same line. So how we can find out the distance of this? Distance of this, if we add this, it has to be equal to distance between these two. So P, Q, Q, R and P, R. P, Q, same by distance formula. It will be under root 14, this will be 2 under root 14, you just add them, you will get 3 under root 14. That is our PQR collinear. How about this point? Let us assume that these are three points A and uh, B and C. So we have to check whether these are the points of a right angle triangle. If, the, if it is actually a right angle triangle, then AC square has to be equal to AB square plus BC square. So AB square, let us find out the AB, then BC, then AC. And we see that when we add 686 with 457, when we don't get 2709, so this is not a right angle triangle because this is not following the Pythagoras theorem. Next is find the equation of a set of points P such that PA square plus PB square is equal to 2K square. So now let us take P as XYZ. PA is nothing but XYZ with 3, 4, 5 distance. And uh, PB is XYZ with this minus 3 over 3 minus 7 distance. Just add them because this has to be added and equate it with 2K square. And just take all XYZ here and K and constant here. You will get the required equation. So this was the first part of uh, the 3D geometry. We will be taking one more. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.